In the last video, we considered the blending process and we developed a dynamic model based on mass balances. In the blending process, we have a tank containing a liquid that is well stirred. So we can assume that the conditions in the tank are the same everywhere throughout the tank. We have two streams coming in, stream one and stream two. We're blending them and we have one outlet stream. The mass fraction of species A in stream one is X1 and the mass flow rate is W1. And stream two has X2 and W2. And finally, in the outlet stream, we have X and W. Mass fraction and flow rate out. We also assume that the density in the tank rho is constant we have volume V in the tank, but that is not going to be constant. Then we wrote a dynamic model for the process, which was based on a total mass balance. And then we had a second mass balance based on species balance for A in the tank. And together, this is a dynamic model that describes the system. Often we're interested in the steady state of a system, which is usually where we would want to operate our process. And at steady state, nothing is changing, so we can set all time derivatives to zero. When we're operating at steady state, then we have steady state conditions for our variables that are usually time varying, and we use the overbar on these variables to denote the steady state values. So because I've set that time derivative to zero, I'm going to put an overbar on my flow rates here, on my volume, and on my mass fractions. So we're going to put an overbar on all of these usually time varying variables. And now we can solve for the outlet conditions as a function of the inlet conditions. So we'll start out with our first mass balance equation for dv dt. If we set that equal to zero, we can put multiply through by rho and then really easily solve for w bar, our outlet flow rate, is equal to w1 bar plus w2 bar. And then we can look at the second balance equation, the dx dt equation, and again, we can solve for the outlet mass fraction now, x bar, as a function of the inlet conditions. And again, we can multiply through by rho v bar and get, and then we can combine our terms to solve for x bar. Finally, we can solve for x bar. So this really is a weighted average on our two inlet streams mass fraction where the weighting comes from the flow rates that are coming in. So that is how you calculate the steady state outlet streams. And then we can move on and look at some numbers. So let's consider x1 bar, that inlet stream that has a mass fraction of A of 0.1, 10%. And in stream two, our manipulated variable, we're not gonna have any A at all. So we're basically just going to be diluting stream one. And then let's consider an inlet flow rate in stream one of one kilogram per second and W2 of three kilograms per second. So you can see we're probably going to dilute the 0.1 down to a lower value. So first we can just calculate W bar is equal to W1 bar plus W2 bar equals four kilograms per second. So outlet just equals sum of inlet. And then we can calculate X bar, which gives us 0 0.025 as the mass fraction of species A in the outlet stream. And so again, you can see this really is a, a weighted average of one times 0.1 and three times zero. So we've diluted that stream one by a factor of four using stream two. 
So this shows how we can calculate steady state conditions in our tank and in our outlet stream. Steady state operation is usually desired, although sometimes deviations from steady state occur.